Bridges, towers, dams, and skyscrapers. Our modern world is built on reinforced concrete, and reinforced concrete depends on steel rebar. This seemingly mundane metal plays an outsized role holding up everything around us, which is why rebar generates over $258 billion in revenue each year. It would take you a while to count all those zeros. Without quality rebar functioning as a steel skeleton to bolster concrete against cracks and failures, even simple structures would crumble, and the world as we know it would be a shell of what it is today. So how do plain-looking metal bars become so extraordinarily strong? The answer lies in a fascinating manufacturing process, fine-tuned to transform raw ore into ribbed rods robust enough to reinforce modern engineering marbles. It takes extreme heat, tremendous pressure, and extensive testing to convert basic ingredients into trusted infrastructure foundations. The integrity of rebar dictates the integrity of our built environment. So how is rebar made? The raw materials used to make rebar play a crucial role in determining the strength and durability of the final product. For most of history, rebar was made by constantly finding new raw materials, specifically iron ore. Iron ore was extracted from rock through specialized mining techniques and then processed into steel. But starting in the 1960s, domestically produced rebar contains 97% recycled material. Many different steel products are recycled to help meet demand for rebar. From steel from demolished buildings and bridges, cars that have met the end of their road or scrap metal from other construction projects. These all can be used to produce rebar. Using recycled scrap metal in the manufacturing process greatly reduces energy use and emissions compared to producing new steel from iron ore. It needs to be noted that controlling the alloying elements added to the molten steel helps achieve the exact combination of strength, flexibility, and corrosion resistance needed for quality rebar. Strict quality control standards for sourcing and preparing raw materials set the stage for rebar that will stand the test of time under demanding conditions. The journey from raw materials to finished rebar relies on each ingredient contributing exceptional performance properties without compromise. The manufacturing process begins by melting down prepared iron, scrap metal, and alloys in a blast furnace at over 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This produces molten steel, which is then poured or tapped from the blast furnace into molds to form basic solid shapes called steel billets. These molds are typically long metal containers that shape the hot liquid steel into continuous uniform blocks or slabs as it cools. Controlling variables like the cooling rate and chemical composition is crucial during this billet casting phase in order to achieve consistency. The dimensions of the billets are also important. They need to be the appropriate size to then be rolled and stretched into longer ribbed rebar pieces in the next stages of production. Strict conformance to specifications during billet forming lays the groundwork for downstream processes, transforming these basic steel blocks into reinforced bars with particular strength qualities the uniform nature of the billets contributes to consistency in the finished rebar end product. The billets are then put through a rolling mill and formed into the rib shape that gives rebar its name. A sequence of rollers stretches the billets into the desired length and contours the exterior into ribs and ridges, which help with bonding to concrete. To be as precise as needed, trimming of rebar can be completed by machine to ensure ideal dimensions are met. The rebar is then reheated and heat treated to further enhance strength and flexibility. Finally, chemical treatments and coatings are applied to protect the reinforced steel from corrosion as it performs in harsh environments over decades. Quality control checks are in place at each step of production to enforce exact specifications for shape, size, and material performance. This highly standardized process generates quality rebar suitable for reinforced concrete structures from massive bridges to towering skyscrapers. Certain jobs require rebar to be contoured into specific shapes. For these instances, large machines can make calculated bends in the rebar to suit the demand. Nowadays, rebar is often assembled into structures before being transported to the job, saving construction workers time and headaches. Rigorous quality control testing separates excellent rebar from inferior products. At multiple stages of production, rebar undergoes thorough inspection and analysis to ensure it meets stringent industry standards. Physical dimensions like diameter and length are examined to confirm consistency and conformance to what the final application specifications require. Mechanical properties including yield strength, ductility, and bending behavior are also tested using non-destructive methods. Ultrasonic testing 
for example, uses sound waves to examine the structural integrity without damaging the rebar samples. More demanding destructive tests are also carried out by applying forces or impacts until the rebar actually fails. This provides vital data on the load capacity and stress limits of the rebar necessary to inform construction engineering decisions and safety factors when designing reinforced concrete forms. By passing this battery of quality checks, Contractors can have full confidence in the rebar arriving at their work site to form the backbone of extremely durable structures. And you can have the confidence that the next time you drive over a massive bridge, you'll make it to the other side without fearing you may fall to the water below you. Each year, 8 million metric tons. You heard that right. 8 million metric tons of rebar are produced in the United States. This deceptively simple product will never seem basic again. With the end goal of rebar being able to withstand extreme seismic events, rebar is manufactured through a series of calculated steps. Whether rebar be used for building earthquake resilient architecture or bridges traversing fault lines, while largely invisible behind the concrete it strengthens, rebar has even inspired artists to incorporate its unique aesthetic into sculptural forms. The story of rebar is intertwined with humanity's drive to build bigger and taller to improve life. After glimpsing the hidden complexity of rebar's making, we can better appreciate how rebar is made.